Well, ladies and gentlemen, now we'll start the keynote speech. We'll now hear from three companies who have received the advanced special award for TPM achievement and company who have received special award. First of all, we are pleased to introduce Etigita Sanai Viticlet AS. Konnichiwa. Good afternoon. Ladies and gentlemen, okay. I would like to welcome you all to our company at his keynote speech. My name is Murat Chamkuru, WCM Senior Manager and TPM Group Coordinator. First of all, I would like to pass our sincere greetings to each one of you in this hall from my country, Turkey, and my company, ETI. Today, my company, ETI's three plants are awarded with Advanced Special Award, and this was a dream for us when we have started our TPM journey 15 years ago. I want to thank JIPM for giving us the honor of making this speech today. Our presentation will be in two parts. First part will be the introduction of our group of companies, and milestones of our TPM journey. Second part will mainly consist of level four activities. First, I want to make a very short brief of our company ETI. ETI is a big food production company, and we are one of the largest industrial establishments in our country, Turkey. We are Turkey's leader baked products and chocolate producer with about 40% market share, 200 distributors and 210,000 vendors. We have nine plants and two R&D centers in Turkey and Europe. Our revenue is approximately 1 billion US dollars per year. And we have the power to design and manufacture our own technologies in-house. Our vision is to bring happiness and joy to our consumers' life through our unique taste and indulgence. Our mission is being a pioneering snack brand recognized by our innovative products and services. Now let's look at our early years of TPM and early years of our company. A factory that makes little rays of happiness. In 1961, it was just a dream. It was a dream of a factory planned by our founder, Mr. Firuz Kanatli himself. It was a dream of Eti. Eti was founded with love, courage, and imagination of just a handful of dedicated people. It was built up on the principles of quality, dedication to perfection, and hard work. This strong philosophy and hard work carried Eti to a brighter future with many production plants and facilities today. For years, we have succeeded many of Turkey's first, starting with 1976, Turkey's first baby biscuit, 1978, Turkey's first ready toasted rusk bread, 1978, Turkey's first digestive biscuit, 1982, Turkey's first industrial slice cake, and 1990, Turkey's first diet biscuit at a four. I love machines. It would be no exaggeration to say I love them passionately. If you're so in love and so attached to something, you'll definitely create something. The author of these words, Mr. Firuz Kanatlı, founded a machinery company in 1976 to give Eti the technology it needed. Today, 70% of our equipment is from Eti machinery and hundreds of expert engineers continue to design manufacture and install production machinery in-house and that uses state-of-the-art technology. Today we have many technological equipments running in our plants, producing our 800 SKUs under 42 brands. By giving consumers so many delicious products, it truly has become the taste of happiness in Turkey and in the international markets we have entered today.
As it is written to our DNA, dedication to excellence and continuous improvement has led us to implement TPM in 2002. We are looking beyond the horizon with TPM since our kickoff. In 15 years, we have solved many problems with thousands of f tags near mistakes, resulting many zero modes, and we have performed many Kaizens to strive our problems and potential gains in all fields. Today, all of our plans are implementing TPM with 17 awards from JIPM. Zero accidents, zero defects, zero downtime, and zero loss. It grows on these solid values today. Until today, our employees at all departments have practiced many concepts and tools of TPM, leading us to a collective mindset change. It took its competitive edge a step further by founding at European Food Industries in 2013 and the production plant in Romania. We have reflected our TPM culture to our Romania plant from the beginning of the design stage. As a market leader of Turkish bakery business, today we are spreading our marketing and sales operations mainly more than 50 countries in five continents. With improving production performance in Turkey and Romania by the help of TPM, we are continuously progressing towards becoming a world-class player in the international business arena. Today, we, for our new challenge WCM, we are following the excellence path of our founder, Mr. Kanatlı, who has defined TPM as the war of civilization, creating responsible, constructive, faithful and happy people at the highest level. Now I want to present TPM Levels and Activities section. Before going into level four details, I want to go over the highlights of each level in brief. In level one, as well as the standard eight pillars of TPM and their basic topics, we have focused on the main indirect processes and gained a lot. In level two, we have founded the Lean Supply Chain Committee and started Lean techniques such as value stream mapping. In level three, we have improved the Lean Supply Chain Committee structure and increased our level by extended supply chain content, and we have started working on Etiway and special techniques such as Lean Index. Especially dur during our first 10 years, we have shared TPM knowledge with more than 50 companies, both during TPM visits to our plants and conferences. We have re released 41 papers in conferences, congresses, and summits in Turkey and Europe, and gave TPM lectures in many Turkey maintenance congresses and universities. In level four, we have focused on reformist activities, especially in our leader plans in seven topics, including three major concepts developed internally, freshness, AT production quality assurance system, PQAS, and online condition monitoring, OCM. Let us go into details of reformist, reformist activities now. In level four, our cake plant's main focus were two reformist products and their processes, milk burger and pop cake. Milk Burger is a healthy and category expansion product, which is the first cool snack product of Etty. Milk Burger has won the 2016 Breakthrough Innovation Award of Nielsen in Europe with excellence in in-store execution. Popcake is our leader cake brand, and first Popcake line is a 400 meter, 80% in-house developed, fully automated, and highest capacity cake line in Europe. And in Popcake line, we produce the category-dominant Popcake millions of packs per day with PQAS and OCM infra infrastructure, providing early detections of de defects, breakdowns, and some of the losses. Additionally, we have developed a new high-capacity and flexible cake production line in level four. In level four, our chocolate plant's main focus was profitability. To realize the desired profitability target, three basic topics were determined. First topic was Europe's lowest-priced chocolate-coated wafer with highest intensity. 
Many Kaizens and investment projects are performed for productivity improvement and cost reduction. Second topic was equipment development for new complex tablet product with high profit ratio. And we have reduced many processes on the production line by equipment development, resulting remarkable cost reduction and productivity improvements. Third topic was world's highest capacity decorated chocolate line, and we have performed in-house equipment developments and many kaizens to increase capacity and to reduce cost. In level four, our biscuit plant's main focus was complexity with high volume, and we worked on the topics equipment development for complexity and Europe's highest volume co-extruded cookie line with high quality. For the equipment development for complexity, we have designed, manufactured, and installed two unique equipments in the world, providing dramatic benefits such as 50% less yield loss, 70% less footprint, and up to two times higher capacity. For the Europe's highest volume lines with high quality, we have performed capacity increase, PQAS, and OCM activities, allowing us to take proactive actions, preventing many loss. At the end of level three, we have developed two systems, PQAS and OCM. Beginning from the level four, we are now integrating these systems with new technology IoT and IT tools to reach our zero defect, zero accident, zero break breakdown, and zero loss targets. One of our top level reformist activities is PQAS, and we are implementing in seven steps to achieve zero mods, especially for customer and consumer complaint preventions. The other top level reformist activity is OCM. We are monitoring and controlling our production line's quality, production, maintenance, and energy parameters, which are up to 2,000 packs per minute speed with 350 equipment in one line. Today, we are monitoring approximately 4,000 parameters in four lines of our three plants. And now, we are improving and implementing rollout plan of OCM system to all production lines and utilities to increase our early detection and loss cost reduction capabilities. One of the strongest and top level characteristics of our company is having the capability to design and manufacture our own technologies. We have 132 production, 54 IT, and 180 design in-house technologies providing us remarkable competitive advantages today. Another stronger side of it is our innovative new brand and new products and category development process and we have performed 176 new product launches in biscuit, cake and chocolate categories by the end of level four, both in Turkey and international markets. Now let us see our tangible results as a comparisons of before TPM and level four of our awarded plants. Two times of production volume increase. 44% improvement in productivity. 12 points improvement in OE. 43% reduction in rework. 47% reduction in customer and consumer complaints. 87% reduction of breakdowns. 38% reduction in unit production cost. 31% reduction in total lead time. 6% improvement in OTIF. 32 times increase in Kaizen gains, 72% decrease in major accidents, 900% increase in suggestions, and 22% decrease in unit energy consumption. Just a weekend break after the final assessments, 
we have started to work on our new challenge, WCM, integrating TPM and Industry 4.0 trends and challenges we have developed at the WCM program. We will be able to realize our hard to reach targets by this program. Today, we all committed to reach WCM on the top level of TPM in 2020. As a last part, we want to give our special thanks to our founder and top management for their leadership and limitless support. To all our employees for their commitment and participation. To our sensei Koizumi-san for his invaluable guidance, patience and faith in us. To our assessors, the founder and the pioneers of TPM for their great vision and challenging comeworks. To our interpreters, Mineko-san and Inan-san, for their great care. And to the JIPM and JMAC responsibles, especially Sekikawa-san and Sasaki-san, for their valuable support for many years. Thank you very much. Domo arigatou gozaimashita. Thank you very much. Next, we'll have a speech from NSIM United Steel Company Limited. Please come to the stage. Okay. Uh, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Bantun. Thank you very much for attending this keynote speech session. I believe that most of the audience participating in today's ceremony would have been very busy during the last year. So please sit back and relax with this presentation from our company in SCM United Steel. The content of today's presentation start with corporate and factory outline. In SCM United Steel was established in September 2016 by the integration between Siam United Steel and Nippon Steel Sumikin governizing Thailand. We produce and sell coral steel sheet and galvanized steel sheet. We are one of the consolidated subsidiary of Nippon Steel and Sumitomo Metal Corporation with the capacity of 1 million tons per year of coral steel sheets and 360,000 tons per year of galvanized steel sheet. The factory is located in Rayong province, about 180 kilometers from Bangkok. Rayong is quite a nice place to live, not very far from Bangkok. There are beautiful beaches, islands, delicious seafood, and plenty of tasty fruits all year round. Our TPM journey began in the former Siam United Steel or Coral on our CR plant. A CR plant, we produce coral steel sheet for making tin plate, tin free steel, containers, automobiles, electrical appliances, pipes, and so on. CR plant started up in 1999 we could achieve a fairly good learning curve until 2003, which was the first year that we could produce a little more than 1 million tons, which is the design capacity. But all of a sudden, in the early 2004, we experienced increasing breakdown of machine and quality troubles, causing lower yield, as shown in the slide. So we decided to implement TPM as the countermeasure. We kicked off TPM in 2005 
achieved TBM Excellence Award in 2008, Consistent Award in 2010, Special Award 2012, and Advanced Special Award this year. About TBM policy and target, our TBM policy is simple, that is, to serve the company's policy deployment from vision to action. And for that, we consider TPM is not activity, but culture and working methods. Therefore, TPM targets are directly deployed from KMI, key management indicator, and KPI, the key performance indicator of the company. The slides show the KMI that support our financial target, such as sales, sales margin, sales volume, cost of products, and most importantly, safety. The KPIs are categorized by P, Q, C, D, S, M, and by the relationship with the above KMI. Next is corporate and factory level results. Please recall again the two KPI I introduced earlier, namely percent machine breakdown and yield. When considered 2004 as benchmark during the past 12 years, percent machine breakdown was steadily improved and reduced to about one-sixth. Prime yield was also steadily improved by more than 6%. When looking at the results of zero breakdown activity by PM pillar, the ratio of zero breakdown machine has been maintained at high level, such as 100% achievement for machine rank S in 2017. And until 2017, we achieved the accumulation of 80 zero defect modes by QM pillar which is about 84% of the total registered defect modes. The capacity of our bottleneck core rolling mill has been improved by more than 20% from the benchmark year 2005. For OEE trend, the OEE of all major lines have been improved and contribute in capacity expansion without major capital investment. Customer claim is drastically reduced. Lead time was improved by 40% when compared to that of the benchmark year. About the accident record, we could maintain zero lost work time accident since September 2012 and maintain perfect zero accident since February 2016. Next is Kaizen case story. For Kaizen case story, let me share the concept to strengthen the foundation of management system by creative TPM approach in four areas, namely one, prostate innovation, two, production innovation, three, product innovation, and four, permanent innovation. I'll pick up two brief examples in one, process innovation or process development management, and four, permanent innovation in human resource development. As for process innovation, since 2013, we introduced the integrated system of TPM and TPS with the eight pillar system already established in place. We level up our process management with TPS, Toyota production system. In order to minimize lead time, we apply process flow diagram, PFD, to visualize the improvement opportunities and improve them based on direct manufacturing system, DMS, and perfect manufacturing system, PMS. The improvement boundary then expanded from the point improvement by TPM to line improvement by TPS. This photo is taken from the production department manager board, which shows the policy, targets, 
Then the key points are loss and cost metric and process flow diagram, which help visualizing the issues and priority, such as lead time, cycle time, setup time, to be improved by DMS, breakdown, process failure, defects, to be improved by PMS, loss and cost, to be improved by focus improvement, action plans, and results of improvement and KPI follow-up. We use this manager board to visualize the improvement by PDCA cycle. The last example is from permanent innovation in human resource development. This slide shows operation and maintenance training roadmap. For our advanced special TPM, we focus on advanced skill training system. This photo is an image of skill structure board taken from our training center. We use this skill structure to develop our skill training system. This slide shows danger sensing training center. The left side shows electric danger sensing kits. The right side shows work at height danger sensing station. This is our dojo for safety skill training. This slide shows the image of our maintenance training center. The photo are examples of training kits of the basic equipment such as hydraulic system skill training. And this is the image of our self-learning room. At the moment, we provide self-learning kits for analytical skill such as YY and PM analysis and some basic measurement tool skill. Next is key of sustain for TPM. In our opinion, there are three keys. Firstly, the top management commitment. Secondly, visualize management, such as using PFD and loss cost metric to visualize the opportunities for improvement and to make the follow-up convenient. And thirdly, the cheerful workplace. This is about motivation. In addition to regular visit and communication between top management and employees, the next short video will show you the atmosphere of our President Award ceremony. The outstanding works for TPM will receive our President Awards. This ceremony is held once a year as the starting event of the year-end party of our company. There are five categories of the awards, namely Best Supply Chain Management, Best Lean, Best Innovation, Best Marketing Activity, and Best Corporate Value. For 2017, our President Award went to Best SCM. The final topic is the method to make TPM activity upgraded. In our case, we consider the right advisor is the answer for making the TPM activity upgraded. And we would like to take this opportunity to express our deepest gratitude to Mr. Yoshitaka Murase from JIPM, who has been tirelessly guiding us during the past five years for this advanced special TPM. His sincere willingness for the sustainable improvement of our company is a kind of reward beyond the awards. Thank you very much for your kind attention. Thank you very much. Next, we'll have a speech from SC Arctic SA, Arctic Refrigerator Factory. Please come to the stage. Good afternoon again. Uh, first of all, uh, before starting my presentation, I would like to present myself. 
My name is uh, Alin Tudosescu. I'm TPM coordinator of uh, Arctic Refrigerated Factory, Romania. I will start my presentation with a corporate overview. Arctic is uh, owned by a Turkish group, Arcelik, one of the best known brands in Turkey. The brands known by Arcelik are Arctic, Beko, Blomberg, Grunding, Electra Bregrans, Flavor, Defy, Leisure, and the latest one, Dowlands from Pakistan. Archelic manufactures a full range of major household appliances, including washing machine, refrigerator, freezers, dishwashers, cooking appliances, and vacuum cleaners, which improve the quality of life society by using a customer-focused approach. Arctic history. Established in 1970 in at 70 kilometers west of uh, Bucharest, Romanian capital. Our core business is manufacturing and sale of refrigerator, freezers, show windows, marketing, and after sales service of a full range of household appliances. Arctic uh, factory milestones. Uh, in 1970 was uh, first refrigerator produced in Romania under Thomson Houston license. In 1972 was first export in France, followed by Great Britain, Germany, and Holland. In 1980, Arctic brand goes international. In 2002, as I said before, become part of Archelic Group. In 2004, was TPM kickoff. In 2007, a TPM Excellence Award, receiving the TPM Award here in Kyoto. In 2011, Award for Excellence in Consistent TPM Commitment. In 2013, we became the biggest refrigerators factory in Europe with more than 2,600,000 units production capacity. In 2014, we received a special award for TPM achievements. And in 2016, we produced more than 2,300,000 refrigerators per year. As production overview, uh, production flow. In uh, the following chart, material used are given in the production, different production stages. Integration level of cooling components is around 64%. Arctic main production processes. There are four main production processes. Mechanical and paint with cutting, press, forming, and paint shop. Plastic, injections, pl plastic paint shop, extruder, and thermoforming. As foaming of the door forming and cabinet forming. And not the last, the assembly for uh, our freestanding products and chest freezer products. And packaging, of course. Uh, Arctic uh, factory layout with the land covered by 297,000 square meters. Covered area, it's more than 100,000 square meters. Number of the employees, around 2,500. Our production is in three shifts, weekly working days, five days, and Actual production capacity, 2,870,000 refrigerators. As main products, we have freestanding refrigerators and chest freezer, horizontal freezers. The first, 
our product preferred by middle high income family is combi products with more than 45%. Is the best byproduct in Romania in Europe as well. On the second place, we had double door with 90% of our production, vertical freezer, which is market leader in Romania, with 6% of our production, single door, for this, the big part is going to export to the northern country. Show windows with 1% of our production as well is going to the northern country, most of them. And the chest freezer products with large chest freezer, 16% from our production, and small chest freezers with 9% of our production. As uh, production history, for freestanding and chest freezer products. Since 2004, the Arctic factory started to produce the large chest freezer products within a new assembly line and became a premier for entire Archley group. The pro production yearly increase rate reached a value of more than 250%. Arctic production as domestic and export markets. Arctic company has become during the years one of the most successful stories in the Romanian comp economy. Since the implementation of TPM program in 2004, Arctic refrigerator factory continued to grow year by year, becoming the lar largest refrigerators factory by Archery Group outside Turkey. Most of our products are for export market. As export market, we have a total uh, destination 81 countries. More than 85% of Arctic products are exported. Most of the freestanding products are delivered towards European Union. Countries such as France, Germany, Italy, and Poland. 90% of our chest freezer is exported. We have new markets such as Australia, Ireland, South Africa, China, and Saudi Arabia. As a domestic market share for our products for cooling segments, Arctic and Beko brands are leading cooling seg segment of domestic market, far from the, our competitors, Samsung and Whirlpool. Arctic vision and missions. Arctic is following the corporate objectives of entering new markets and increasing production capacity to fulfill the market demand. Arctic follow Art Archelic values and establish its own vision. Arctic vision is to aim high customer value with lowest lead time, best in class quality, and most competitive product cost. Following Archelic vision, respect the globe, respect it globally. Our factory had established its core value, same as mother company. TPM missions, to achieve the vision, Arctic has determined its target points and revenue by the top management. To achieve revenue targets, the following study have been done. To decrease the production delivery time, to decrease production cost, to grow the synchronization level, to increase the manufacturing product profit, to increase customer satisfaction, and to provide employee happiness. Also, our TPM motto is growing by innovation. TPM implementation progress. Between 2004 and 2006, in TPM part four, we received the award for excellence first category. TPM part two, was between 2007 and 2010. 
with the Award for Excellence in Consistent TPM Commitment. TPM Part 3 was between 2011 and 2013 with a special award for TPM Achievement. And today, I'm proud to be here to receive the Advanced Special Award for TPM Achievements. TPM Deployments. The whole factory indicators were distributed to each committee. We set new indicators related to the new committee in TPM Part 4, Sales and Distribution. About TPM organization, uh, to, to be a global player and to manufacturing excellence, we create a synchronization committee uh, which coordinates other nine committees. Our leader of the synchronization committee is our, also our production manager. As I said before, we create the, in TPM part four the sales subcommittee in order to go beyond our factory. What brings us advanced special awards? In TPM part three, we create an innovative activities committee which started as a necessity to build idea that will create a leading advantage and increase our market competitiveness. In TPM Part 4, we create a revolutionary activities in order to become the biggest manufacturer of the refrigerator and chest freezer from European Union. In our long run, our factory proves its potential to succeed by creating performance products with less cost and flexibility in production establishing new production process methods and its wish to continue the integration of a new performance equipment with less energy consumption. In order to become the biggest manufacturer of refrigerator and chest freezer from Europe, we achieved the following activities. Arctic plant technology map, in second place, we create a top level mixed production line in Europe. In third place, we create a lowest cost chest freezer line in Europe. Activities for uh, our top level freestanding mixed production line. We choose this line uh, because uh, the designer, designing and production technology interact directly with information technology as most competitive mixed production line. It's the only freestanding production line which can work one piece flow mixed production. It, it's, it's able to produce at the same time different ranges and allows you to change the product step by step. Our line is the only line in Europe capable to produce four range of refrigerators in the same time. As activity for top level cost for the same line, uh, in European market, which is our best, biggest market, our freestanding products demand has increased and the price for these products has decreased. In order, we, we made a benchmark and we observed that the cost for our products was bigger than competitors. And for this reason, we targeted to reduce it. Also, we target to reduce our production cost. As activity for top level quality assurance, we create highest quality for production processes. A short comparison between uh, TPM part three and TPM part four Show us we, uh, we decrease the claims from the customers with more than 60%. As the results for our top level production mix, um, mix production line, after many studies, the target were achieved. Our products refrigerator was produced cheaper than competitors and has become the European 
market leaders. Sorry. By the unique technique used, carrot may cannot flow. Also, we managed to decrease the service call rate with more than 70%. And the third place, as the lowest cost chest freezer line in Europe, our lowest cost activities started as necessity to build ideas that will create a leading advantage. In the European market, chest freezer demand has increased and the cost as well decreased. In this segment, our uh, Chinese products are dominant. Arctic targets to sell the same products to the same market cheaper than uh, our competitors while keeping a high quality. The cost was bigger, as I said, and we target to reduce by 9%. As a result, for production cost, working in cost details, we managed to decrease both transformation and material cost. By the perform improvements, we tar our target were achieved. Our Arctic small chest freezer product was produced cheaper than the competitors and became the European market leader. All main components of the production cost was decreased by 29% compared with the old product. Next, I will share with you uh, Kaizen's case story. I will not be too long, I will go you quickly. Um, by reduction of the man hour, the transformation cost by increasing the automation level for uh, our top level mixed production line. We choose our equipment for a thermoforming machine. It's, we select the equipment with the way working. For our equipment, one of the, our equipment, uh, we have like 7.5 operators per day in three shifts. Our daily capacity was around 4,314 pieces per day. We calculate the man hour for every shift, and the result is 0 0.025 man hour per product. We establish our objective of the project. First, to reduce the man hour for thermoforming door liner by 80%. And the second target is to increase the automation levels with a potential saving of for all, for all line with 100, more than 100 operators. A project team with people from dif different departments of R&D, production engineering, automation. As in initial situation, we represent the operation flow for our thermoforming door liner. We have three stations, station one for plate feeding, station two heating the plate, and station three thermoforming, with three operators. We realized a cycle time chart for uh, our equipment. And uh, we observe we have a large number of manipulation. More than 50 are manually done, and only two automated. have a plan for improvements, activities. We analyze every phase operation. We have like 80 uh, number of manipulation for all three operators. We've done a ACR, ACA analysis. Eliminate, combine, reduce, simplify automation. As a solution for eliminating manipulation, we found automation of the process. As improvement, we automate the process of the thermoforming and cutting of the door liner by replacing operators from the thermoforming machine and guillotine with an ABB robot. We decrease the operators from 2.5 
operator space shift to 0 0.5 space shift. We made the new cycle time diagram and we see all the manual operation was, were eliminated and we increased the automated process from two to 17 hour. Also, our cycle time was decreased. As improvement solution, we managed to reduce operating cost. We improve work environment for our employees. We improve product quality. We reduce losses. And we increase production flexibility by 22%. We check the solution and we can observe the man hour per product is 0 0.004. Our target was achieved. We decreased the man hour by 80%. The cycle time was decreased. The capacity was increased. Number of the operators was decreased for, from 7.5 to 1.5 and man hour also was decreased with the estimated benefits of 42,000 euro per year. As a standardization, we create working standards, instructions, one-point lessons. The solution will also be applied to the other equipment from the other assembly lines. Chaos sustained for TPM. We have also tangible effects and intangible effects. Tangible effects coming from our main TPM target list. We have select data according to the K -man management and K performance indicator. The KPI described as productivity, cost, quality, delivery, safe, and moral. As K MI, we are following the factory turnover, operating profit, domestic market share, production numbers, and service call rate for freestanding and chest freezer products. As intangible effects, TPM improvements also had some effects are not countable and cannot be shown mathematically, such as teamwork was improved between all employees operators, maintenance skill operators, office staff, and management person. Employee got motivated from the good arrangement of the plant. Work satisfaction is increased by cooperation of all employees. It is seen that by dealing with problems systematically, zero failure, zero accident targets can be achieved. It is seen that by using TPM methodology, Visible improvements result in non-visible improvements logarithmically with an avalanche effect. The knowledge of the operators has increased to cope with equipment problems. Visitor of the plants had positive impression which lead to good recognition. As vision for the 21st century and their implication for the TPM, we'll continue our TPM study our world-class TPM achievements. We will continue to be an example for the other factory in Romania and worldwide. We will continue to increase our market share in domestic market and expanding our shares on existing export markets and open new ones. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Next, we'll have a speech from Thai Containers Group, CLLTD, Navana Corn Plant. Please come to the stage. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Firstly, I would like to thank JIPM for arranging the award ceremony today. I think everyone here is glad and proud to be a part of this event. Our company is Thai Container Group, Navanakorn Plants from Thailand. My name is Niwat 
ผู้สีสลับ I am in charge of director and general manager our company is subsidiary of s c g group s c g is the biggest conglomerate company in Thailand there are three main business unit one is cement and building material the second is chemical and the last is packaging business We are under consumer and industrial packaging or CIP, which under the packaging business. We have three kinds of products. First is plastic packaging, the second is display packaging, and the last is logistics packaging, which is used for transportation and be a main portion of our products. For the TPM, we start kick off TPM Part One in year 2000, and four years later we can achieve the excellent award. We got the <coughs> TPM Part Two consistent award in 2014, and TPM Part Three special awards in last year. This slide show the different ob objective and scope among TPM Part 1, Part 2, and Part 3. The financial target was increased, more challenge. And also we add another objective, like a one-day production, innovation for high-value added product, concentrate more on customer delight. We expand the scope from shop four to pen Y and to the company, which have to collaborate with supplier and customer. We call it a supply chain collaboration. We have nine pillars to guide the TPM activity. Some of them have to work co-creation with supplier and customer for new material and new product development. This slide show the example of product innovation we have done. We develop new additive chemical that able to increase the paper strength. Then we can reduce the paper usage with the same box strength. We call it green carton, because we use less paper, less tea, more green for the world. Moreover, we could reduce cost for customer due to the less paper consumption. Another example is 3D fruit. We collaborate with machine maker to develop new type of fruit. By new design, we could get more beautiful printing and more loading to save the transportation cost. We also concentrate on the customer delight. One of our biggest customers need to launch the new product within two months. Normally, it needs four months for the new packaging design, including the order the newspaper testing and trial run process. We use the vertical startup concept and to expedite our process. And finally, we could serve customer need by two months. Compared to our competitor, they spend around four months to do this. The result is that we could gain more order and more share from our customer. Okay, come to the last topic. I would like to share with you how to keep TPM running for a long time. Actually, I think there are um, uh, many factors combined together. But from my experience and learning, I think there are four important factors. The first one is the organization. Mm -hmm. We announced TPM organization and the committee. The member should come from all functions. We set regular meeting 
and follow up by top management. The leader is also important. The second is the policy and TPM linkage. TP, uh, policy and KPI linkage, sorry. We have to make sure that the policy and KPI from the top management are deployed and aligned to all level until the first line starts. Then everyone can see the same goal. Synergy and collaboration will be occur and analyzed. Third is teamwork and collaboration. TPM could not be success by individual. It needs team and work together. We use coaching technique to make them happy in both work life and family life. We promote the activity work-life balance. We believe that if they are happy, they will contribute to order. The last is show and share and recognition. We have many events to let our staff show and share their abilities, their works, their improvement, and their success. Just as the Kaizen Day, Safety Day, Quality Day, OE Days. It makes our staff proud in their job. The reward also is not away me the money. Sometimes the recognition for management is more important. That is all I prepare and would like to share all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Finally, we'll have a speech from Tetra Pak Paketreme Sanai De Tekare LTD City Ismail, who awarded for world class TPM achievement. Would you please come to the stage? Good afternoon. Konnichiwa. Ladies and gentlemen, my name is Altai Arakman. I am TPM manager in Tetra Pak Izmir Factory, Turkey. I am very proud to present you on behalf of a remarkable company, Tetra Pak, a remarkable plant, Izmir, and a great team that works there. Thanks to GIPM for giving us this opportunity. I will, I will present our story within this content. I hope you find it inspiring. My company, Tetra Pak, was founded by Dr. Ruben Rousing more than 60 years ago. His business idea, a package should save more than it costs, is a mindset that we, all of us in the company still hold today. We are specialized in providing our customers complete solutions for processing, packaging, and distribution of food products. As Izmir Factory, we are part of the packaging business. Our vision we commit to making food safe and available everywhere is the guidance for every single employee in the company. Our brand, Promise, protects what's good, defines our philosophy, and influences everything we do. Tetra Pak operates in five clusters in the world and is present in 175 countries. We have around 24,000 employees and 42 production plants in operation as of today. Izmir plant is part of Greater Middle East and Africa region, and we have five plants in our cluster. I am happy to say that the other two factories in our cluster, Lahore and Jetta, were on stage today and received advanced special award. Izmir, the big, biggest city of Turkey, is a growing commercial center with a population of 4 million people. Izmir plant was built in 1978. We have 289 competent employees, and 82% of them have high school, and high school and university education. 
Besides the 33 customers in the local market, we export to 130 customers, 38 customers in 35 countries. We produce 20 different packaging material products and straws in our factory. 18 years ago, as a result of changing business environment, Tetra Pak decided to introduce TPM concept under the name of world-class manufacturing to secure the future success of the company. In 1999, Izmir plant was selected as one of the six pilot plant, plant to start TPM. Since then, WCM has been a powerful tool to eliminate losses in all areas and to achieve our ambitious targets. So far, our improvement level has been recognized by GIPM in different awarding categories, and today we received the last one world-class award. Because of its excellent performance, Izmir plant was rewarded with the factor of the year in 2010 and 2016 within the Tetra Pak group. Izmir is the first and only factory receiving this prestigious award twice. Our motto, passion for excellence, demonstrates our TPM policy and our ultimate goal. We aim to realize sustainable operational excellence and people development for zero loss mindset. We achieved fantastic results in many areas. For instance, Comparing with the baseline year 1999, waste reduced by 78% and cost improved by 46% 46 with the support of TPM activities. As a Kaizen story, I would like to elaborate the last 10 years of our journey because 2007 was a milestone with the challenges we had. Competitors start to be more active in the market. Izmir factory had limited portfo product portfolio due to old machinery park and mostly produced for local market. In these conditions, we had two options. Do nothing and lose the game or strive for survival and even grow the business. We believed in our strong WSM culture and leadership, leadership at that time and decided to grow our business with the ambition of 10 billion packs in 10 years. This difficult ambition could only be possible by being the preferred factory with the low cost structure and capability improvements through investments. As a starting point, in 2007, we rebuilt the confidence with the all stakeholders and achieved TPM Consistency Award. In 2008, the biggest investment tetra in Tetra Pak Izmir factory until that time has been realized. We reduced the total waste by 1%, which was more than the target. In 2000. Nine, we upgraded our coating line with the local resources and engineering. We increased the mechanical speed by almost 50% and provided line balancing between two main processes. After these investments, we have achieved to break 3% total waste mental barrier and to begin in all KPIs. As a result of these achievements, we have been selected as factor of the year within the group factories in 2010. New laminator investment in 2012, and another huge investment, including one printing, one finishing line in 2014, have been completed on time in full and vertical startup performance. After completing all these investment steps, Izmir factory had become a mega factory with the advanced product portfolio capability and 10 billion packs installed waste capacity. 
Despite the very challenging business environment, we have succeeded to, to boost our volume and achieve exceptional operational performance on waste, efficiency, and quality. I am very proud to say that Izmir Factory has been selected as Factor of the Year in 2016, again, as the first factory ever to win this award twice. Moreover, our success has been recognized by GIPM by World Class Award. We believe that we are world class with our ability to transform zero loss and operational excellence mindset into practice and achieve our long-term ambitions while delivering world class results. This, co this could be only possible with TPM which make us agile with a strong continuous improvement culture. There are three main items that help us to manage and keep TPM activity running for a long time. Policy deployment allows us to clearly understand how our actions can be contributed to more to factory strategy. We set our priorities paving the way to achieve our 10 billion packs in 10 years ambition. During the TPM journey, people development and empowering is quite critical. It's a change process and developing the leaders of future is vital for secure the, secure the change. Benchmarking is another key point we are very good in sharing the good practices, knowledge, and experience within our company network. Also, we receive every year hundreds of visitors coming to understand about our achievements and how it is done through TPM. Smart Factory concept is a new initiative that we are working on to, to bring the promises of innovative solutions, technologies into TPM activities to make TPM activity upgraded. So far, we have contributed to our 10 billion packs in 10 years ambition. We have been selected as the best factor in the Tetra Pak group twice. We have achieved highest customer and employee satisfaction. And we also maintain strong financials and sustain it. From now on, we aim to contribute more to our employees by focusing on their development, more to our company by improving our performance further, more to society by providing innovative solutions, and finally, we aim to contribute more to the ecosystem in the environment area. Based on the 18 years, of, 18 years experience in TPM, we can say that this never-ending journey is not always easy. Sometimes it's painful, but it works, it makes the difference, it changes the, changes the way you do business. Now I would like to end my presentation with a short video.
Thank you. Thank you very much. Well, this concludes the keynote speeches. While we are getting ready for the party, there is time to have a look at the poster area in the back of the venue, as well as to take pictures in the photo spot in both sides. Thank you very much. Uh, when we get ready for a party, we will announce it. Thank you. <laughs>